A container ship rammed into Baltimore's iconic Francis Scott Key Bridge on Tuesday. Headlights of several vehicles could be seen on the bridge as a huge spans collapsed into the Parapsco River and the ship caught fire. Over 20 people, we are told, are still reportedly missing after the collapse of the bridge that literally plunged also a construction crew as well as several vehicles into dangerously cold waters at this point. Now, we are told that all the 22 crew members who were on board the container ship that crashed into the bridge uh, were Indians or Indian origin who alerted the authorities right away about a power issue before the collision. They are said to be safe and secure for now. Meanwhile, President Joe Biden has promised federal government aid to rebuild the collapsed Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. So far indicates that this was a terrible accident. At this time, we have no other indication, no other reason to believe there's any intentional act here. Personnel on board the ship were able to alert the Maryland Department of Transportation that they had lost control of their vessel, as you all know and reported. As a result, local authorities were able to close the bridge to traffic before the bridge was struck, which undoubtedly saved lives. Our prayers are with everyone involved in this terrible accident and all the families, especially those waiting for the news of their loved one right now. We are still investigating what happened, but we are quickly gathering details. The preliminary investigation points to an accident. We haven't seen any credible evidence of a terrorist attack. Our administration is working closely with leaders from all levels of government and society to respond to this crisis and not but just by addressing the immediate aftermath, but also by building a state that is more resilient and a state that's more safe. That is our pledge and that's our commitment.